Hey guys, Vogue Nasty here for Classic Leap, and this is Zack Zero, a PlayStation Network exclusive. It is developed and published by Crocodile Entertainment, and is their first game ever made. I need to preface this review by talking about one primary problem with Zack Zero. If you boot the game up while still logged into PlayStation Network, the game can crash on you. It happened to me a couple of times, but it's a simple fix. All you have to do is sign out of PlayStation Network and sign back in after you've boot the game up. Some people may have a problem with this. Uh, it didn't really affect me at all because I spent my entire life blowing into cartridges in order to make them work. In my eyes, this is just the digital version of that situation. Also, it didn't surprise me because when I got my review code, the developer told me that I may run into the issue, so they were forthcoming with that. As I stated before, this game is Crocodile Entertainment's first game ever made, and in some of the choices that they made, you can see that. For instance, this game has online leaderboards, and it constantly compares your scores globally and within your friends list, and it's really distracting because it pops up during gameplay. And the controls are a little off, specifically in the double jump. I am more accustomed to having something similar to Alucard, the way he would control in Symphony of the Night. For example, in Symphony of the Night, any time during the jump, be it during the ascent or descent, you can hit the button again for a double jump. With all that being said, after I got a couple of levels into this game, I was jumping fine, I got used to the timing, and it wasn't an issue at all. And overall, none of these negatives ruin any of the fun that you can have in Zag Zero. That's a lot of negatives to start a review off with, but now we're going to talk about everything that's good about Zag Zero, and that's literally everything else. This game feels like an 8 or 16 bit platformer with modern day graphics. Every level feels great, it's, they're all well designed and they reward exploration. As you fight through the levels, you pick up little power-ups that will allow you to level up and will increase your abilities. And all of your abilities revolve around Zack's suit, which will allow you to take on the characteristics of ice, fire, and earth. Ice allows you to slow down time and freeze enemies to utilize in puzzles. Fire will let you run faster and will give you a floating ability during your double jump. And while Earth slows you down tremendously, it allows you to pound the ground and open up different areas of the level. This game is very much a callback to the old retro platformers that came before it. It even comes with a fire and minecart level, all of which are actually fun to play. In fact, that's the one word I would use to describe this game the most, is it is just fun. This game is just full of fantastic platforming, and the whole time you're making your way through this game, you are leveling up frequently. So you're hit with this double whammy of not only feeling the progress of getting through the levels, but you're progressing as a character as well. It just feels really fun to fight your way halfway through a stage, level up, and then gain the offensive ability to kill all the enemies that you've been facing previously with one hit, instead of a couple. This game is full of beautiful graphics, beautiful music, fantastic gameplay, great puzzles. I, I just can't recommend this game enough, guys. Please go out and buy it as soon as possible. I am super excited to see what Crocodile Entertainment has up their sleeves uh, for their next game. Uh, I am Vogue Nasty for Classic Elite. I uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you on the flip side.